I'm a little bit tired, but I'm good. I know, school's almost over. Real quick to introduce kinetic and potential energy. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. We talked about it a little bit this week. We touched on it, but last year in your sixth grade science class, because you're in seventh grade right now, you sort of touched on this, but you didn't learn the words. So if we could all gather around this table, yeah. I brought these tennis balls. Do you guys like tennis balls? No. I love playing tennis balls. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. I'm terrible at tennis. Okay. So if we can clear off the desk. Yeah. So we have. Okay. So we're gonna put this. Sorry. <laughs> Multi. Sorry. Okay. So tennis balls are bouncy, right? They roll pretty easily, yeah. So we're gonna take turns. We're not take turns. <laughs> okay. We're gonna pass them to each other. So like cross. You have to pass them to someone that's not in like ne not next to you. So you have to pass to me or Delta. Jacqueline has to pass to me or Brent. You can't pass to like each other. Yeah. So yeah, all at the same time. But let's try to go slow, kind of slow. Yeah. Oh, oops. I, I'm messed up. Okay. Do you think we can go faster? Yeah. Okay, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. Okay, you see how the balls are rolling? Mm -hmm. They're moving. So They're creating energy, yeah. Oh. yeah. So when a solid object, like a tennis ball, moves, mm -hmm. it's called kinetic energy. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know what kinetic energy so, me, because I'm moving right now, I have kinetic energy. Uh -huh. Yeah, so anything, any solid object that moves, like a car, uh -huh. or have, do you guys like roller coasters? Yeah. You've been on roller coasters? Yeah. So like the cart itself and the person in it, they have kinetic energy because they're moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like the table, it's kinetic energy. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. So next slide. So today, outcome, can we read it together? Ready? Students will be able to correctly label pictures with the correct energies and be able to understand the differences between the two energies, kinetic and potential. Great. So now that we sort of know what kinetic energy is, can you guys give me an example of kinetic energy? Just anything off the top of your head. Because we know it's a solid object that's moving. Mm. So birds fly. Birds, yeah, when they're flying, mm -hmm. right? But when they're still, they don't have kinetic energy. Mm. Well, birds and flies have. I mean, yeah, birds moving are, have kinetic energy. Yeah. Do you guys think of anything else? Airplanes. Yeah. Airplanes. Something Airplanes. Fell. Yeah, something, something fell. falls. So, like, the tennis ball falling, that has kinetic energy, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So, yeah, good job. Do you guys, okay, so, can you guys guess what an object that still is called? That's not moving. Can you use your context clues and see what an object that still is? So if, we're, if we know that kinetic energy is a solid object that's moving, what do you think an object that still is called? Potential. Potential energy, uh, yeah. So, do you guys do you guys know what the word potential means? Can someone explain what that means? Potential. Wow. Ability to do something. Mm -hmm. Ability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Grant? Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing, but you know, something that um, we have, you know. But um, so I wanna say an example. So potential energy. That's the one that allows kind of taking. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah. Wait, say that again? Potential energy is. But, no, but then, so energy yeah. um, produces kind of energy. Put it that way. Yeah, so basically everything 
at one point or another has potential energy. Everything, like, let's see, Jacqueline right now, you have potential energy. Everyone in here, except for me, because I'm moving right now, like I'm moving right now, you guys have potential energy, not kinetic. So potential, so like all everything on those shelves has potential energy, because the potential is... So that means the okay move, right? Yeah, so like the ability, like, you can do it, like, it's not permanent, you know, like, you know what potential is, like, you have the potential to be great, you have the ability to, if you, you know, if something acts on it, so, like, does anyone remember Newton's first law of motion? No one remember from last week's lesson? So, I'll jog your memory. An object, um, at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion unless mm -hmm. acted upon by an outside or unbalanced force. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all of this ties in together. So kind of like what we learned last week about the law, Newton's laws of motion. So yes, so potential energy, like that tennis ball, it's potential energy. So can you guys give me an example of something that has potential energy? There's a lot to choose from. Mm -hmm. They're basically everything at one point or another. So I will give you guys the scientific definition. There's big words because it's really Sean can um, Brett, can you read the kinetic energy definition for us, please? Energy 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 that a body possesses by virtue of being in motion. Yeah. So learn that. And Delta, can you read potential? Perhaps the energy uh, possessed possess by a body by body by virtue of its potential relative to others stresses within itself el uh, el electric cha charge and other factors. Right. So, like we said, like Newton's first law, it's mm -hmm. still or in motion unless acted upon by an equal or unbalanced force. So this. Basically, this is a fancy way of saying it. So, body by virtue of its, uh, wait, hold on. Yes, um, position relative to others. So, like others are acting on it. So, it's still. So, do you guys remember? I think this was maybe two weeks ago or less than two weeks ago. Everything has energy and like pressure um, at like hitting it. So if an object is still with potential energy, that means all of the force around it is equal. Because it, it's still, so they're canceling each other out. Kind of like um, when you push against a wall, so you can't move the wall, right? Because the wall is pushing back on you. So you're exerting the same amount of force. So any object that has potential energy that's still mm -hmm. has the same amount of force. Mm -hmm. But if I move it, I am an outside force that's making it unbalanced, making it have kinetic energy. You guys understand? Yeah. Does this make sense? Let me know if I'm going too fast or you have any questions. So yes. So now that you guys know more or less, hold on, let's see. So like I said, it's any solid object that yeah, so, like the, let's see. So the things, so like the color doesn't matter, right? It mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Or even the size, it can be really teeny tiny, or it can be as big as like an elephant. It's huge, like a mouse and an elephant, they both have kinetic energy, but they both have potential energy. They just have different amounts because they vary in sizes. Does that understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like kind of tricky, but it's super interesting. I always have fun learning, and I hope you know to instill that fun on you guys. And so let's see. <coughs> now, what would you guys rather do in 
individual, like, like an individual paper, or group? Group? Okay. So, let's do this. Can you, can you guys choose a team leader? Okay. <laughs> so you can be the scribe. Can I come up here? Yep, the scribe. So, can you, with the help of your teammates, like you can talk, can you circle all the picture, the numbers, with the pictures of kinetic energy? Oh, wait, first of all, what was kinetic energy again? Will be three. Yeah. So, can you, yeah, that's good. Can you guys help her out? Six. Kinetic. 
Jacqueline, what kind of energy do you have right now? Potential. Potential. Okay. So you would say like <coughs> alcohol. So it'd be like potential energy right now. I'm rolling it to Bona with kinetic energy. I mean like I'm catching it. And there's potential energy. Potential mm -hmm. energy. Mm -hmm. And roll it to Sam. Roll it to Gather and Kiko. Kinetic energy. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You guys understand? Okay. Let's do it. Can we do it as quick as we did the other game? Mm -hmm. okay. Can you guys say it and roll at the same time? Okay. Kinetic. Ready? Potential and now kinetic. Potential. Kinetic. Potential. Kinetic. <laughs> Potential kinetic. Kinetic. Potential kinetic. Potential kinetic. Potential Potential Yeah. So then there's the, the force itself, right? 
Yeah, so remember all the forces are equal, like on that tennis ball right here, mm -hmm. that's why it's still. But if delta just pushes the ball, so she's awesome. an outside force, yeah, which causes it to have kinetic energy, right? So it all goes together. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah.